Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up, it was hotter, it was drier and it was sunnier. We review the fresh figures for 2022 and ask if we're ready for what's to come. There is a possibility of heat waves that will have an extent that we haven't seen before in Europe. In this special episode, we're highlighting some of the main findings from the recent Copernicus European State of the Climate report for 2022, looking at the health risks from heat and asking why it's getting sunnier. But first, a quick look at the figures for last month. And on a global level, April 2023 was 0.3 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. Here in Europe, it was a mixed picture. It was cooler from the UK to Turkey, but much warmer around the Iberian Peninsula. There were a string of all-time high temperatures for April in the western Mediterranean. Cordoba in Spain hit 38.8 degrees. Mora in Portugal rose to 36.9 degrees. And Marrakesh in Morocco peaked at 41.3 degrees. All records for the month. Now, let's look at the 2022 annual climate data that was just released. The year was marked by extreme heat and widespread drought. And these drought indicator maps from April, July and September illustrate how widespread the issue was. Are we going to have a repeat of that situation this year? Climate scientist Julian Nicolas says it's possible. We're seeing this taking place uh, as we speak in Spain, where you have extreme temperature uh, combined with very dry conditions and that led to well above average temperature. So this is one example where the scenario from 2022 is repeating again. 2022 was the hottest summer on record in Europe. And we saw a marked rise in the number of days with what's called strong heat stress. The darker the colour is on this map, the more days of heat stress there were. And it's becoming a concern for doctors. Europeans will have to learn to live with heat. In 2022, many parts of the continent experienced 40 days or more of temperatures with a feels-like rating of 32 to 38 degrees. And that's warm enough to cause problems. It can trigger heart attacks, strokes. It can lead to dehydration, to renal failure. People who are vulnerable should look for advice on how to adapt. It is also possible that certain medications and food restrictions need to be adjusted because some medications can actually make you more vulnerable to heat and therefore also you know, pose a greater risk. So sometimes uh, dosages need to be adjusted. Alongside heat and drought, another key trend from 2022 is that Europe is getting sunnier. Last year, the continent had its highest sunshine duration on record. And the places in red and fuchsia on this map had hundreds of hours of extra sunshine last year. Why was that? And is it good for solar energy? There are many complex reasons why there's more sunshine in Europe. But in summary, the main causes are a change in weather patterns and cleaner air. What we see in a warming climate is that the that we have more often situations where high pressure areas are blocking the movement of low pressure areas. And because of that, high pressure area can be associated with more sunny conditions. That is one side of the story. And the other side is that we have less pollution uh, during the last 20 years. This graph of sunshine duration anomalies reveals Europe has been getting sunnier since the 1980s. Europe's solar power sector is already growing and this is a further boost. You can see the yields and therefore also the economics of solar installations increase quite dramatically if the amount of sunny days increases, uh, certainly in the mid-seasons. Um, so that will only have a positive impact on the business case for solar. So solar power has a bright future, but experts say the heat and drought of 2022 is a sign of what's to come. You can find out more about how our planet is changing on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.